if I ended up going to Asia like this, I would be so unhappy. Like, way too much fluff for all the bikinis I want to be wearing. Please, what is this? No. You see the abs wanting to come through, but all this fat on top. Yeah, gas to go. Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> uh, let's start our day. It's not the prettiest day by the looks of it. It's quite a gloomy day, but it is a brand new day, so we're lucky to see it. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so today I'm actually going to be showing you guys how I've been getting ready for Asia. I'm going to be traveling to Asia solo in less than two weeks and it's time to make sure I got the right things packed, time to make sure the body is going to be snatched, time to just get a lot of things sorted, the money, just everything that I think I'm going to need out there. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm in my gym clothes already. I'm going to go play tennis. I haven't played half as much as I'd like because the weather's been really bad. It's been snowing in the UK and my tennis courts at my club are only outdoors, which means a lot of games or practices I've had have been cancelled recently. So I'm going to have to take myself to the gym if I really want to get these guns ready for thailand in time so i'm gonna go play tennis i wish i could take you guys to play tennis with me i've always wanted to show you guys how serena i am but i just don't know how i'd explain the camera to everybody at the club it's so annoying but we're gonna go play tennis i'm gonna come back i'm gonna show you guys what i've been eating as well to try and lose weight cooking in my brand new kitchen that's just behind that those shutters um and then we will start packing and running errands to make sure we are Thailand and Bali and Asia ready. So welcome back guys. By the way, I've got a different wig on. This is my sports wig. You can't wear your good wig. Well, it's still pretty good condition, just I don't brush it really much now. But you can't wear your good wig to work out. So this is usually what I wear for tennis. But let's start the day. You guys have seen a tour of my place now, so I don't have to hide anything. In the morning on my days off, I usually open up the shutters, my housemates, at work. I have the place to myself, so I open them up, make myself a nice cup of tea, and get my day started. In the kitchen I brewed a copper so I'm just gonna warm this up put this in the microwave so I don't normally eat breakfast before I go work out obviously because I want to burn some Bet. I'm gonna bring some calories, so I'll just have a cup of tea. I think I'm running out of time. Put my trainers on, and I'll see you guys probably when I'm back. So I'm back from tennis. I feel like I got a really good workout. Oh, can you hear the cray cray? Yeah, I got a really good workout. I've just got my suitcase out. I'm gonna pack a little bit later on, but I've actually got a video for a brand that I need to do some editing on and send to them. So once that's done, once that's like uploading or whatever, I can have a shower, make breakfast, and get on with my day. So it's time to get some blogging work done. So even on my days off, we working. Oh, but if only I could do this full time like guys I really need that for this time next year I am blogging full time I'm a youtuber full time because the thought of going to work like actual work tomorrow ah oh, it's pinning me it's pinning me but anyway time to turn my laptop on and get this party started Hey guys, so I'm freshly showered and I'm going to be packing. See my suitcase there. I'm going to start my packing for Asia now. Um, what I did do, because I don't want to forget anything, is that I 
wrote down a list of a lot of the stuff that I want to take and I keep like updating the list on my thing anytime I remember anything so that's a good little packing tip for you guys but at the moment I've got some of the stuff I want to take but I still need to add quite a lot of stuff for my wardrobe into there but I just want to go through it and make sure I've got enough like shorts enough trousers enough summer dresses make sure I've got the right swimsuits etc also there's still loads of things that I need to buy so I need to go and buy some foundation just to make sure I've got enough for three weeks out in Asia so much to frigging do I'm gonna put the camera here and then just get on with my packing so at the moment I've got a lot of stuff in bags stuff that I just bought and has been delivered so I'm gonna sort through that cup she sent me quite a few bikinis but I'm gonna wait to show these to you guys when I'm out in Asia but at the moment they're all in very separate bags I need to pack a bit more compactly than this so I'm going to keep these bags because they're so cute and so handy. So I got a lot of white bikinis so we can start on the gram and whatnot. <laughs> I got six from Cup She, but I want to take at least ten bikinis. So I'm gonna take. I've got six brand new ones I've never worn. I'm gonna take four that I've had for a while. So I need to go through my wardrobe and pick out which lucky four are gonna get to go to Asia with me. Okay, then I need at least three pairs of jean shorts. I like these ones. They're pretty high waisted. They're ripped, they're tattered. I wore them a lot in Barcelona, so I'm gonna take these. Then a mini skirt. I'm not sure about this, you know, like, I'm not sure. I feel like I prefer shorts, but I will put you as an option on the side. And then just some, like, Daisy Dukes. So these will be perfect. So that's two shorts. I'll need at least another one. But I bought this one from this guy, this. Also high-waisted white, so it will be good in the sun. That's cute, no? That's the three shorts I need. I might take one more though, actually. I got some mosquito repellent because, yeah, it's going to be mad out there. This one be this is meant to be one of the strongest one. Um, what's it called? Trek. So I got that. And to be safe, I also got a rape alarm. Like I've been scared. To, like someone's at my door. One sec. So I just had a package arrived, and there's a very good chance that this might be something for my trip I was doing a lot of ordering as I was saying I ordered a rape alarm just to be safe like I am a little bit nervous about traveling so far away by myself so I have bought this I haven't tested it out yet because I don't know how loud it's going to be let me pull this out but it's probably a good idea that I make sure it works before I get there so oh I didn't press the right thing oh that didn't that didn't alarm the light is this just a torch or is this an actual rape alarm okay this is one of the worst rape alarms ever maybe it's just a torch I will have to check but yeah it's a good thing I checked it now because I've gotten all the way to Asia I've gotten all the way to Asia before I realized that this didn't work so yeah good thing well, that's disappointing. Just a torch. Well, a torch would be handy to have, but... Oh my god, my ears are ringing. Okay, so this is a rip alarm. I was so confused. It's a rip alarm. Okay. Okay, so it's a rape alarm and a torch. You have to pull this out for the rape thingy to go off. Oh my god, my ears are ringing. Okay, so it definitely works. Good to know. Let's go raid my wardrobe. 
go see what we got in here that we can take along. Okay, so most of my trousers are at the bottom. I've got a burnt orange one that could be quite good, but I always wear that. I can barely... Oh, these ones. These like blue ones. Yes. Okay, you're coming along. Guys, you see this pile of clothes right here? This is all from like my summer collection. I have to sort this out and figure out how many dresses, jumpsuits, two pieces I'm going to take along with me. Like I've never packed for three weeks before. There is so much that I need to fit into this suitcase. And obviously I've got a travel on as well. But I'm keeping a lot of space in that for my filming equipment because I'm going to have to pack so many cameras, so many stands, a little bit of lighting, just so much stuff to make this trip as epic as I need it to be. But, oh, let's get started. So, I thought this would be quite a cute nighttime look. Three quarter high waisted trousers with a matching crop top. That would be cute for like an evening dinner time look, no? It has literally become chaos here. Ugh. So I'm pretty tired. I've been packing for ages and I'm pretty happy with what I've done so far. Pretty happy. I will have to obviously go back and repack this, but I feel like I'm going to have enough space for everything I need. And then this is my travel luggage as well. It's got a few bits in it, but there's lots of space for hair products, makeup, wigs, etc. So, yeah. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's get on with the rest of my chores. So guys, I'm just going to go ahead to the store now. Um, I'm pretty disappointed if I'm being perfectly honest with where my body is at the moment. So we are going to have to eat mad healthy for the next two weeks. And go pick up some sweet potatoes and tuna for dinner. Haven't eaten too much today, but I did have like creamy, you know, and yeah i'm not happy let's just go this pouch gotta go why don't you want to go pouch why don't you want to go so i just got back from the store and i'm gonna make myself a lunchy dinner got a whole bunch of sweet potatoes which i plan to live off of for the next few days so i'm gonna grill these roast these in the oven turn the oven on for about an hour then i'll mix like a tuna mayonnaise onion and sweet corn mix pop that in the jacket potato jacket sweet potato and sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top and that should be delicious good morning guys welcome to day two of the vlog so yesterday didn't go as planned case and point my suitcase which halfway through the evening i decided i hadn't packed well enough and I opened up again and started chucking more things in and taking more stuff out. But I think that's probably just going to be how it goes for the next two weeks. So I want to make sure I obviously get the right outfit. Um, also, I didn't make it to the gym and I'm super disappointed with myself because normally when I've got something like this that I'm trying to lose weight for, like I've got a one track mind, I get it done. And I just haven't been to the gym at all. I was meant to go to the gym for a month before Bali. It's already two weeks before Asia. And I've not been once, so I really need to get it together. I wanted to be like skinny and toned, and I realized, look, we're not gonna get toned, but can we get skinny? Maybe. So this morning, I've sort of set myself a few tasks, and I really wanna make sure I get them done before I have to go to work. I'm gonna do a home workout, um, do like a Zumba in my living room using a youtube video then i'm going to make something healthy for breakfast something filling but healthy to get me through the day and a cup of coffee as well to start my day once my workout is done then i'll shower get ready and then i've got to go to town and pick up a present for my friend Mel melissa um she's the one that i went to for the ventura with it's her 30th birthday this weekend and we're going away on saturday to yorkshire for it so it's my last chance to get her a present typical Mimi I left it to last minute my room is chaotic now I'm not too happy but I just want to focus on those things and I will be happier like yesterday I did manage to get the video that I was doing for that brand done so that's at least one thing I managed to accomplish but the rest of it I've just been so disappointed with my body and just like my attitude to losing weight usually I'm pretty determined like 
if I ended up going to Asia like this, I would be so unhappy. Like, way too much fluff for all the bikinis I want to be wearing. Please, what is this? No. You see the abs wanting to come through, but all this fat on top. Yeah, gas to go. So, I've got two weeks to get everything right. I'm going to do the Zumba video now. Let me just open up my window. Good morning, kitchen of mine. How are you doing? And start my workout. So, the workout is done, as you can see, I worked up a sweat, I am hurt, they actually do have quite a lot of core cool workouts, so there is a good chance if I do this every day for the next two weeks, we might actually become toned, but that feels good, that feels super good. I just hope I can keep this up, keep doing this, keep eating well, and you know, the body might bang in time for Bali. So the workout's done. I'm going to make breakfast before I have a shower. <sighs> yeah, breakfast before shower. And then I'm going to go buy Mel's birthday present. <sighs> feels good to sweat like this so breakfast is ready mushrooms avocado salmon eggs I always have this and then a delicious cup of coffee if I do say so myself I'm just chilling and watching TV while I eat so it already it already looks like I'm running behind schedule and I probably won't have time once I've showered and gotten ready to get Mel's present so I really don't know how because I'm working the next few days how I'm gonna find time to get it it might actually yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have to buy it online and pray that it arrives by Friday because we go to Yorkshire Saturday first thing but yeah I still feel really good you know like that's a good way to start your day working out so I'm gonna try and really stick to it the body must come along but yeah we're looking good we're feeling good let me get this done let me chow down catch all in a bit